In a 27 News follow-up tonight, a local group is looking to find ways to make the capital city a safer place in the wake of 2023, which had the highest murder rate in Topeka's history. 27 News reporter Drew Gill was at one of those meetings and joins us live in downtown Topeka now. And Drew, what are people saying tonight? David, Rebecca, they're talking to people about ways that they can take charge in their own neighborhoods. I'm here outside TPD headquarters where they say they're investigating the murder of Brian Wright Jr. and that it's their seventh homicide investigation this year, which is way down. Last year by this time, Topeka had already seen a staggering 18 murders. Earlier today, I went to an Oakland meeting led by Civic. That's the Community Inspired Violence Intervention Coalition. They're looking to help neighborhoods take a more hands-on approach to reducing crime. Robert Soria is a longtime Oakland resident, and he tells me it's obviously good that violence is down this year, but that doesn't mean the work is finished. Obviously, one is too many. You don't want to lose any, anybody you know, in your community uh, to uh, violence like that. Mental health is probably one of the causes uh, people are stressed and then there's people dealing with mental health issues. So I would like to see the city and county work better together to address those those issues. Civic's next action planning session will take place at the Hillcrest Community Center this Saturday starting at 11 a.m. Working for you live from downtown Topeka, Drew Gill, 27 News. Drew, we appreciate the live update.